My name is Andrew Johnson. I'm here at Melvest Marines Factory in Taytay Rizal, Philippines. We make uh, lightweight Farrier trimarans here. And we make two models, the Farrier F-22, which is the uh, entry-level Farrier trimaran, and we also make the F-32X, the extra-wide version, which is a really great uh, blue water boat and uh, sports cruising boat. And uh, we'd like to show you today uh, how we make these boats and why we're so proud of the finished product. Well, here we are in Factory One. This is where all our boats begin. Uh, that noise in the background you can hear is our vacuum pump, which is used to suck the extra glue out of the boat parts that we make to make them extra light. So here in front of me is the beam mold for the F32X beams. Uh, we've used these forms to make uh, eight boats now, so they're, they're, we really know these forms very well. Over here on the left we have an all-carbon F32, and this will be the lightest, fastest F32 we've made, and it's being made for a very passionate racer in Melbourne, Australia. So we're expecting great things from this boat, and it's shaping up really well. Also on the other side here we have the forms where we make the F-22 and the main hulls are made in two halves, port side, starboard side. They're joined together here and then they move from this factory into the next factory where uh, the floats are made, which are made in left and right halves, and then they come together and then they go into the third factory which we'll go to later where they're painted. So here we have uh, carbon fiber centerboard being made for an F-22. Um, this uh, will be a lot lighter than the ordinary part, but of course more expensive. So this person wants the added performance of carbon fiber, and uh, we're making it now with the fairing stage where we're putting the fairing putty on to uh, then put paint on. So it's almost finished. So here we have another dagger board for an F-22. Um, it's not quite finished yet, but you can see we are vacuum bagging at the moment to reduce its weight. Um, more than 90% of the areas of the boats are vacuum bagged. Uh, the only parts we don't vacuum bag are the fiddly little bits like taping in the panels in corners in dark areas. So uh, the boats are substantially lighter. Here we have the F-22 floats underneath, and these have already been vacuum bagged and are about to have their hatches and uh, inspection hatches fitted. So here we have a carbon fiber floor panel for an F32X and as you can see it's not at all heavy, it's very very lightweight and this of course will make the boat so much faster in a racing scenario. So here we have the beginnings of a hot dip galvanized steel trailer. Some customers are unable to get good trailers in the home port where the boats are heading so we offer as a service a hot dip galvanized trailer in this case, the trailer will have to break down into small parts so that it can go in the container with the boat. And so we have multiple connections about halfway along the trailer. So we've already shipped three or four of these trailers and they are well made and will give many years of trouble-free service. So here we have an F-22 that's just come out of uh, factory number one and it's uh, ready for fairing and painting. Uh, also here we have uh, the masts that we've made. These masts have been made from a uh, very high local content. Uh, they're our own design, they're extruded, extruded here in the Philippines. We make our own fabricated parts including all the aluminium welding. We make our own sheaths. Um, and everything is uh, made to a very high quality with no sharp edges inside the mast to damage the halyards and these masts should give many years of trouble-free service. So here we have the base to an F-22R mast, and all of the fittings on this mast are made exactly to the Farrier Marine drawings, and uh, they all work very, very well. We now know that because we've made a few of these boats now. Uh, the furling handle system here for rolling the boom and winding up the mainsail is a real treat on this boat and we've found that the uh, folding system and everything works exactly as Ian intended to. So here we are in the painting section. Uh, this is a fairly major part of the operation. The, the boats are fared, first of all, with micro, micro balloon putty, then they're painted with an epoxy primer, and then we put a, a high-quality PU paint to finish above the waterline, 
and then if required below the waterline we will use uh, anti-fouling paint. Um, the painting process uh, takes a lot of time because we have very high quality requirements here so the, the finish on the boat will be similar to the bonnet of a car and one of the things that we pride ourselves on is most people uh, gasp when they see our boats for the first time and it's usually the paint job that uh, that gives them that feeling. I can see if we, if we do this, everything moves together. It's about there. But the problem is, make sure it's a little bit forward. We don't want this to hit the cowling. So here we have the finished F32X trailer. Uh, as you can see, it's got a good, good coating of galvanizing on it. We've also got uh, Australian UV resistant marine carpet on the bumpers, which will give many years service in the sun. And uh, the boat is custom fit. The trailer is custom fit to the boat before it leaves the factory. And then it's disassembled for shipping.